budgets are very affordable, but parking spaces are becoming quite the opposite. One just sold for a record-setting 74,000 bucks, and for that price, it better be paved in gold. High price parking is our first story trending now. What? $7,400? 74,000. Oh my God, what? Yeah, my sentiments exactly. A 137 square foot downtown Denver parking spot just broke the record for the priciest one ever sold in the city. That was on a flat surface, fairly close to the entry point. Oh, well then that totally makes sense then. Denver is following the footsteps of other big cities like New York and Chicago, and it looks like as housing prices continue to increase, the parking prices in those and other urban areas will as well. Everything is more expensive in this environment, including parking spaces. With parking prices like that, I'll take the bus, I'll ride a scooter, a <laughs> skateboard, whatever, I'll hitchhike. Yeah, no kidding. All right, now from high-priced parking spots to an even pricier wedding, the royal wedding, and what Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were really saying to each other. Sit number two. I have a surprise for you. Okay. It's a golden unicycle. I don't want that. That present is a fail. Oh, that's what they were saying at the altar. Who knew? The YouTube channel Bad Lip Reading is back with their take on what the new Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the other royal wedding attendees were saying on their big day. Harry and Meghan, who is your favorite Harry Potter character? Hagrid. Hagrid. Not correct. Ah, uh, always nice to lighten up a traditionally stuffy ceremony, don't you think? I think she's brilliant. And just like that, we'll never look at the royal family the same way again. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. All right, now to the newly crowned winners of The Voice and American Idol. Here's wishing them more success than some of the previous Idol contenders. Where are they now? Is it number three? Bryn Cartelli, you did it! Bryn Cartelli and Maddie Poppy have won their respective singing competition shows, so they're now off to achieve success on their own, something that doesn't quite work out for everyone. Oh yes, folks, this is happening. Jimmy Kimmel Live brought together some of our favorite past Idol contestants, some who did well and some not so much, to catch us up on what they've been up to. I skate to corporations, inspirationally, and ladies, now I'm single to Snapchat me. What good sports to sing about their <laughs> post-show successes. I have to say that video made my day. <laughs> and that's what's trending now.